Chapter 1 History of Computers Topics covered Eras of Computers Generations of Computers Computer Languages Characteristics of Computer Famous Personalities in the Field of Computers Eras of Computers Computers were invented as a result of man's search for fast, accurate and reliable calculating devices. The evolution of computers is defined in terms of various eras. Let us take a look at them. Manual Era In earlier times, the device used for performing mathematical calculations is called Abacus. Abacus stands for Abundant Beads Addition and Calculation Utility System. This device allows the user to represent numbers by the position of beads on a rack. Simple addition and subtraction can be carried out rapidly by the positioning of beads on the rack. Mechanical Era The first mechanical calculator was developed by Wilhelm Schickard. Blaise Pascal, a great mathematician developed another mechanical adding machine called Pascalin, which could add and subtract numbers. Cybertet Bits During the mechanical era, Charles Babbage invented the analytical engine which was programmable and had many features of modern computers. Augusta Lovelace became the first programmer in the world. Electric Era The Universal Automatic Computer, UNIAC, was the first commercial large-scale digital computer produced in 1951. During the period of late 1940s and 1950s many other stored program computers were developed. Generations of Computers Generation in Computer Era provides a framework for the growth of computer industry. The technological development in computers and technology can be divided into five generations which are distinguished by the basic electronic component used within the computer. First Generation 1940-1956 The computers of this generation used vacuum tubes as the basic component for memory and circuitry for central processing unit. These tubes produced a lot of heat and were prone to frequent damage. Therefore, they were very expensive and could be afforded only by very large organizations. Machine code was used as the programming language in these computers. Second generation, 1956-1963, these computers used semiconductor transistors instead of vacuum tubes. The computers of this generation used transistors which were cheaper, consumed less power, more compact in size, more reliable and faster than the vacuum tubes. In this generation of computers, high-level programming languages such as Fortran and COBOL were used. Third generation, 1964-1971, the third generation computers used integrated circuits. ICS as the main technology. Keyboards were used as an input device, and monitors and printers were used as output devices. These computers were small in size, had huge storage capacity and more reliable than previous generation of computers. Fourth generation, 1972 onwards, now. The manufacturing of integrated circuits have become so advanced that hundreds or thousands of components could be incorporated in a volume of a fraction of inch leading to the development of very large-scale integration, VLSI, circuits. Fourth-generation computers were very cheap, very small in size, portable and reliable. As a result, it gave rise to personal computer, PC, revolution. Cybertet Bits An integrated circuit, IC, which incorporates core functions of a computer's central processing unit, CPU, is called a microprocessor. The first microprocessor Intel 4004 was designed by Intel Corporation engineer Ted Hoff in 1971. Fifth Generation, Present and Beyond the fifth-generation machines are based on artificial intelligence software with genuine IQIE intelligence quotient. 
This provides the ability to reason logically and with real knowledge of the world like humans do. These computers are still in development, though there are some applications such as voice recognition that are being used today. Computer Languages Language is a source of communication among human beings. Language is a medium to express our view and feeling. To communicate with computer, we also need a language. A program is a set of instructions which tells the computer what to do. The process of writing a program is called programming. Based on the different generation of computers, computer languages are also categorized as follows. First generation as machine language. Second generation as assembly language. Third generation as high level language. Fourth generation language. Machine language. This language can be easily understood by the computer. This language uses only two numbers i.e. 0 and 1. Here, 0 means off and 1 means on. Machine language has the advantage of very high speed and very low memory utilization. Machine language is also known as low level language. The main drawback of machine language is that it is machine dependent, which means a program written on one machine cannot be executed on another machine. Thus, for every machine new program has to be written. Assembly language In this language, Mnemonic codes or symbols are used. It is easier to work with assembly language, as computer can understand only machine language. Assembly language needs to be converted into machine language. For this purpose, we use assembler to convert the assembly language into machine code. Programming in assembly language is quite time consuming. This is also regarded as low level language. High level language, HLL. High-level language is simple and user-friendly. It is similar to English language. However, a computer cannot understand the HLL. Thus programs need to be translated into machine language in 0S and 1S. There are two types of translator programs. Interpreter. It translates the HLL program into machine code line by line. Interprete. Our programs are preferred for beginners and are slow in execution speed. Compiler It converts a high level program into machine language at once and executes it at one time. The execution is very fast. Some high level languages are COBOL, Pascal, Java, and C. Fourth generation language 4GL It is highly user friendly. Portable and independent of operating system. It has very high speed of execution. The following table lists the features of languages of all generations. Language Features Machine Uses binary codes to depict operators and data. Machine dependent only language that can be directly understood by the computer. Assembly Mnemonics codes or symbols are used. Machine dependent Need translator while working, assembler. High level language Uses English words and mathematical operators. Machine independent Need language translator interpreter slash compiler 4gl machine independent minimal user skills required to obtain results application development tool fifth generation language 5gls the 5gls are designed to make the computer smarter the use of 5gls language touches on expert systems Computerized collection of the knowledge of many human experts, artificial intelligence and independently smart computer systems. Examples of 5GLR Prologue, Ops 5 and Mercury. Graphical User Interface, GUI, Based Languages. These are the languages which use a graphical user interface to write, compile and execute the program with ease. Some of them are Visual Basic. Visual C++ C-Sharp, 
pronounced as C sharp. Visual Basic dot net. Visual Basic 2005. Characteristics of computer. A computer system is better than human beings as it possesses the following capabilities. Speed. Speed is the amount of time taken by the computer in completing the task. A computer works very fast and can do large number of calculations quickly as compared to a human being. Computers are classified on the basis of instructions that they execute per second. Accuracy Accuracy refers to the degree of perfection of operations performed by a computer. Computers do not commit errors and are capable of handling complex instructions accurately. If the data fed into a computer is wrong, it may produce an inaccurate result. Reliability Reliability refers to the quality of a computer system to perform consistently well and complete its allotted duties on time without experiencing any system failure. In case of any failure in a computer system, there is a provision for immediate backup of information and programs. Versatility A computer can perform a variety of tasks. Therefore, it can be used in almost all fields, such as education, science and technology, business, finance, accounts, communications, etc. Storage Storage is the capacity of a computer to store data. A computer can store large amount of data, which can be used anytime. We can store data into a computer through various external and internal devices, such as hard disk, CD slash DVDs, pen drive, RAM, random access memory, ROM, read-only memory. A hard disk can store the maximum amount of data among these devices. The maximum amount of data that can be stored depends on the device chosen by the user. Diligence Computers are non-respondent to human factors, like fatigue, tiredness or boredom. It can work repeatedly and efficiently for long hours without taking rest. Multitasking A computer can do many tasks at the same time. For instance, one enjoy listening to music while typing in MS Word or while working on any other package. Famous personalities in the field of computers Charles Babbage, he's known as the father of computers. He was a mathematician and mechanical engineer who invented the concept of digital programmable computer. He invented the analytical engine and difference engine which became the base of today's computers. Blaise Pascal, he was a French mathematician responsible for a series of discoveries. He also invented the first calculator, called Pascalin, in 1965. John Napier, he's known as the discoverer of logarithms. He also invented Napier's bones and made common the use of the decimal point in arithmetic and mathematics.